Have you been told you cannot embroider on a t-shirt? Well, in this video, you're going to learn how to do just that. Hey Crafty Scholars, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm a Soul Crafty teacher. I am the owner of Hayes Custom Creation. Um, I create custom apparel and handmade items. Welcome to this channel. Each week I provide a weekly tutorial on either embroidery, sewing, sublimation, or using my Silhouette Cameo um, HTV. I also do lives twice a week and have giveaways. My subscribers, aka my Crafty Scholars, um, find this channel helpful when it comes to all things crafty. Please consider clicking that subscribe button now so you can catch all of my videos and all of my lives each week. Also stay tuned so that you can learn how to get a free embroidery quick guide for today's video. One of the most common things I hear, you can't embroider on a t-shirt. Yes, you can. Today I'm going to embroider on a gilded heavy cotton t-shirt. And I just got this shirt from JiffyShirts.com. You can use any type of uh, t-shirt that's cotton, poly cotton, even knit. So, yes you can embroider on this. The trick is, is to use the right stabilizer and the right technique. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you in six steps what to do. And don't forget, I'm going to show you how to download the free embroidery quick guide after this tutorial. Let's get to it. So here are the items that I'm going to use today. I'm going to use blue and white thread. I have my dime target stickers for placement. I have my Gildan black heavy cotton shirt. I have my, this is my Tazzy's t-shirt guide that I'm going to use. Got it from Amazon. It's going to help me with quick way to find placement. Um, I'm going to use traditional hoop. You can use any hoop. Because I am not going to, I'm not going to hoop the shirt. I am actually going to float it. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. So here is my hoop. Now you need two pieces of cutaway stabilizer. This is 10 by 12 widener pre-cut um, stabilizer sheets. And then I also have my sticky stabilizer, and this is what I'm going to use to take it down. If you don't have sticky stabilizer, you can use. Um, I use this Tempo spray. If I'm not using some, if I'm not using sticky stabilizer, or you can use the 505 spray. Um, that's linked down below as well. But for today, two sheets of stabilizer, sticky stabilizer, and for my topping, because I want my stitches to be nice and neat and visible on the t-shirt garment. I don't want to get lost, so I am going to use my water soluble stabilizer as well. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my shirt. I'm just going to lay it out like so. This is going to be a left chest logo and you can use a ruler and measure like here from the collar um, and from the middle of the sleeve seam and you can find your center but today I'm going to make it extra easy for you. I'm going to use my Tazy's um, Ultra T-Shirt Guide. So it helps you with right chest, center, and left chest. And it works with all sizes. Today, I'm going to use it on an adult shirt. So I'm going to just place it like so. So I'm going to place it. I have my placement here. Right now, I'm just... My first step is to mark the shirt for placement. So I need to know where is this going to go. I have it right here. Put it right under the collar. It might look too far over. It's in the right location. You can also use, I also have a hoop master that I can use as well. But this is a quick and easy way to do it. If you don't have a hoop master or, or mighty hoops or if you don't have a multi-needle machine. Because the same steps I'm going to show you can be used on any embroidery machine. So now I have my placements. Tell me where I need to put my sticker for my left chest. And you can mark it if you're on a light shirt. You don't have to have these stickers, but you can use a fabric marker 
all ink water soluble you can use chalk all different types of things you can use but for this I'm gonna use the dime target stickers and you can just say Amazon I got this at my local embroidery shop I have them in white and I have them in yellow and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use those so I'm taking my sticker and I'm going to actually just take it and place it tells me right here in my left chest guys I'm going to show you how I'm going to place my sticker here so I'm simply this is where it should go so I'm actually going to put it underneath I match up that line where the sticker is and that's where I'm going to place it so I know when I put this on the machine regardless how I hoop it or how I float it my placement sticker is going to be in the correct the placement of my design is going to be in the correct spot I use my left chest guide I have my sticker and now I have my placement so that's step one is just finding your placement alright you take that move that to the side you are done with that you can also move your shirt your shirt to the side I'm going to use my standard 5x7 hoops and you can use any of your hoops that you may have. Um, my logo is 3.5 uh, by 2 inches so it's 3.5 inches wide by 2 inches high. So I have this and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to hoop. First I'm going to put the sticky stabilizer. Like I said you can use just two sheets of uh, cutaway stabilizer and use your temporary adhesive spray but for this I am going to use sticky stabilizer. So I have my sticky stabilizer. Then I have my two sheets of cutaway stabilizer. Every time you embroider a shirt, you need to use two pieces. Okay, so I have that, and then I'm just going to take this and put my ring on top. So you can use this on any this technique on any machine. Just going to take it and. Taking it, unloose it, and then I'm just going to push down. So now I have my sticky stabilizer, and this is just to keep my placement of the design stable. So I have my sticky stabilizer, I have, and I hook my two pieces of cutaway stabilizer. So this sticky tearaway stabilizer, do not use this. I would suggest not using sticky stabilizer for any garment you may wear. So got my sticky stabilizer. All right, so. That my first step was to place it. I'm hooping my stabilizer. Now I'm going to center my design. It doesn't matter which machine hoop. This is just a technique for everyone. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it inside out. So take your shirt, turn it inside out. Say if you have a six by ten, you have a brother envious, you have a. Um, Janome. So on every hoop there is a guide. Every standard hoop that comes to the machine there's a there's a little center point guide um, where to put your design and make sure it's centered every time because the design that I'm using I've already centered it in a brilliance essential. So I already have it centered and to make sure that it's right where I need it to be. Okay so I have it and since you already have your placement and so your shirt is inside out what you're going to do is you have your shirt inside out you're going to make sure you find that either the mark you made or the placement sticker so now that I know what my placement sticker is I have it inside out you can also hoop this if you want but floating it is so much easier so I'm just going to place it here Try and line it up with a center so you have that little center point here. I'm going to line this up here so that I know I have plenty of space for it to move around. So I'm going to line it up here. Have my, I'm going to straighten out my shirt. Make sure you have, there's no wrinkles. So that's what I'm doing, making sure I have no wrinkles. Straighten out my shirt. All right, I have my center point. And even if it's a little crooked, as long as you have it aligned correctly, it will come out right. If not, you can always do a basting box. Um, 
you can also print out the design and place it see if it's the size you like you can also stitch it out on scrap fabric as well so I have it and so when you put it on the machine it's gonna go on the machine like this doesn't matter it doesn't have to be it does not have to be a multi needle machine you can put this right on your single needle and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to find that placement okay so now that I have it placed I'm just floating it on top you see that I did not hoop and I only hoop my stabilizer I have my placement I'm not gonna have to worry about if I place it correctly because I already did that uh, make sure my placement is in the correct spot using my Tazy um, Ultra t-shirt guide so this is what I use to find my spot very quick so now that I have it it's time to load it on my machine I'm just going to take it and load it on my machine. So I'm going to take it, load it on my machine, just like this, and slide it in, just like that. So I'm going to add my design. Looking for Easy Cut LLC. So I have my logo. I'm going to set it up. It has two colors. I'm actually going to change my color to white. And I'm going to change the other part to blue. The inside of the design, like the showing the ruler and the LLC, would be blue. And the other the rest of the design would be white. Okay, so we have it. I'm going to hit close. Hit edit in. I'm going to hit sewing. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and reserve. And sign calls. Even if you have a single needle, you just... You're going to have to change colors, so if you have two color design, do your first one, then do your second one. Okay? I have this red dot, and I'm not sure if it's showing up, but I have a laser here. And if you don't have a laser, you can put it right there in the middle of that circle. So this is where your design, you want it to be centered. This is where you have your placement. This is where you mark this, so you want to make sure it's centered. So if you don't have a laser, you can just pull this straight down and make sure that's in the middle. So once you have your placement, so the laser is right here in the center design, and once I have my placement, I can remove the sticker. So I'm just going to take it and remove the sticker. Place my water soluble stabilizer. You can use a temporary spray to add it, or you can just leave it like it is. Okay. Good. And the logo is all done. Now that it is done, you can pull the water soluble stabilizer. Now that it is done, you can pull the water soluble stabilizer off here. Let's see. So I'm just gonna take it and simply just pull it off. And I'm gonna show you a secret to get all of the so your secret to get all the extra stabilizer off. Okay, so have this, and now I'm gonna take this and unhoop it. Take my back off, unhoop it. It's gonna really tear this through because this is I use sticky stabilizer. Like I said, you can use some um, temporary spray. All right. So now that we have it back. Now you're going to flip it over. One, you want to make sure you trim 
trim off. First, so I'm gonna just take this and trim all the pieces off. Make sure it's all nice and neat. You can use these, and I also have some trimmers. So you're going to take it and get a pair of scissors because you're going to have to cut the stabilizers. You have sticky stabilizer on top, but you have the to hold it. And that's just, I use that for placement. And like I said, you can use, you can use 505 spray or temp spray, tempo spray. So I'm going to make sure this is all around so I can get a good, I'm going to pull this off. This is the tear away. This um, and then make sure it's facing you because if you cut, you don't accidentally cut the fabric. So make sure when you cut it that you can see it. Okay, so so I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna trim around. Use any regular scissors. And you're gonna leave about a half, you're gonna leave a quarter inch, a half an inch around the design. Um, you can also use poly mesh, you don't have to have it. So we have it. And I'm just gonna cut this just a little bit. Kind of round them all so it won't be so pointy. Pulling off the sticky stabilizer. So, like that. So now that I have that all, it's time for to flip it on the side. Now you can do some more trimming. You can also put a cover stitch you like. You can use poly mesh stabilizer as well if you feel like this is too scratchy. So just still use the cutaway poly mesh stabilizer. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna flip this inside. And boom, there we have it. Now you say, oh man, you still have all that stabilizer. Water soluble stabilizer. I'm going to show you a trick how to get that water soluble stabilizer out. What you're going to need is a paper towel, a spray bottle. I'm going to just wet the paper towel. So a little trick to get out that extra uh, stabilizer, water soluble stabilizer. I'm using my little ironing pad. And I'm going to use my Cricut Mini Iron, and you can use any iron for this. You're actually going to lay it down. Lay it down like so. And then you're going to lay the paper towel over it. And then you're going to use the tip of the iron to get all the extra. And it pulls it right off and it's okay you know if it's wet because guess what you're going to heat press this at the end cut the extra strings that i have all right so now that we have it we're going to take it to the heat press and we're going to press it so i have the heat press at 15 seconds on about 300 you can do 300 310 i'm using my heat press nation signature series 16 by 20. Okay, so i'm just going to use the lint roller I'm going to take it and then I'm just going to press it for 10 seconds. And this is the automatic open, so you're going to hear a beep. Okay. And I have it pressed. It's all done. So there you have it. You have your left chest logo. We use the Tazy's t shirt guy. We hooped the stabilizer and we floated the shirt, and you can do this on any embroidery machine. If you are interested in the embroidery guide that I created to go along with this tutorial, please look in the description and you can download the file. It should be labeled t-shirt embroidery guide. Click on it, download it, and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment if you have any questions, and have a great day. Ciao!